Calendar Snack, thanks for stopping by. You can see them in a Google Calendar. We work with Google and Outlook calendars to create a calendar snack. It's super easy. You use our universal create command. That is create at calendarsnack.com. You see it right there. Fill in all the great information on your calendar, uh, time and date, location, title. Uh, I do have a physical location here. I've kept the Google Meet. We actually ingest that and actually process that as well. And a description, you hit save. I'm going to do so and I'm going to invite all guests. With that said, I'm going to go back to Mandy's uh, inbox because I developed this calendar on Mandy at TechVader.com's um, persona within Google. Uh, she will receive a calendar notification to her email box. There it is. I click and when I click, I go into this particular event, Steamboat Snow Days. Uh, if I click the invitation to review it, you see all that information we actually scrape directly off the calendar. What I'm looking for in particular is this event ID number here. I'm going to copy this event ID number. Uh, that ID number is available um, directly in the uh, email as well. It's right here. It's there as well. So copy a couple of different ways, doesn't matter. It's uh, three or four different places. Now the important thing in prepping the file to be able to send a direct calendar invitation to a list is here. So I pasted that in, the event ID, or sometimes called the UID. I'm going to uh, use Excel because I'm used to it. I'm gonna use the command fill down. There it is there. I'm going to save this file. I'm going to save as. I'm going to save it for sure as a CSV. I'm going to do test bulk here in my test bulk files for May. I'm going to click save. It'll save it. Now the cool thing about this is while I'm in Mandy's account, since Mandy created this calendar snack, and she's provisioned to be able to send bulk calendar invites. I'm going to pull out an email. I'm going to type in bulk at calendarsnack.com. That's a universal command to send this list to um, a calendar invitation, which she just created. I'm going to use test. It doesn't matter. You don't have to put anything in the test box if you don't want to. I'm going to go to attach. There's my test bulk for May. I just did it here at 2.08 p.m going to attach it and I'm going to hit send. Now what happens here is this list basically is used, this email list here is sent out to this UID which basically accounts for this particular um, calendar snack right here for Steamboat Days. And what we're going to do is kind of follow um, the path of what happens in the back end. Um, as I refresh here we should see a uh, notification go out here in a sec and I'm going to check Mandy's email you can see the status 10 invites were sent so that's the good news so the 10 invites were sent to this email I just received notification from the calendar engine I'm going to go back to um, Mandy's um, excuse me here as I peck around there's the steamboat uh, invitation. Let's go take a peek. We'll drill into this here. You'll see the uh, test engine there. I'm going to drill back and take a peek at what's going on with my detailed reporting. There it is right there. So these were actually sent out to this list here in a, a quick um, ability to attach a CSV with a UID, send it to bulk, and it automates the list. So the use case here is this. Um, you have a bunch of customers signed up for a webinar or an event. You'd like to send out a calendar invitation instead of a reminder email. This whole process takes less than five minutes. And if you're good at it, which I should be by now, I've been doing this for a couple of years, um, it should work great. So let's go take a peek. You can see that uh, Zach uh, received a, uh, let's go take a peek here. Zach at techvader.com received the automated um, calendar invite instead of reminder email. He's going to say maybe. I'm going to go to Chris at techvader.com. He received one. I'm looking forward. There it is there. He's going to say yes. 
can kind of get the picture here. Um, Sam here, or excuse me, Steve. Steve's going to regenerate his email box here. He should have received one. He was on the list. There it is. You can see the automation here going on. And the automation in the background, real quick, I'm going to show you is the fact that um, we are tracking all this information here. So here is the Steamboat report. I'm going to go back to it. Detail report. I'm going to refresh here. I'm going to go down my list. And you can see yes and maybe. And as I refresh it, we'll get a uh, one more we should hear. There's a maybe and there's a yes. And refresh one more time. And there we go. We have the third one, yes, yes. So two yeses, yes here, yes here, and a maybe. So we got the Steve one, got the Chris one, and the Zach one. That'll be it for the demo. I appreciate you stopping by. The wrap up on this is if you're sending a calendar invite, uh, this will be released here in about 30 days. It's not released yet. I'm out testing it. I appreciate you stopping by. This will allow you to send up to 100, um, to a list of 100 calendar invitations directly by using the Calendar Snack invitation service. Thanks.